Obama's not king, no man is king, but God is king. And he is king over all the earth, not just America, and not just the nations around the world. He is king of all kings and lord of all. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Father, is the day of, of General Warren. One of this country's founding fathers, my favorite, Thomas Jefferson said, a free press which leads to an informed populace is essential to liberty. But what would Thomas Jefferson think about the majority of our media today? Are they watchdogs of freedom or are they dangerously politically aligned with the left who want to destroy the things that made this country great? But in August, in August, on August 3rd, the show me state is literally going to be the first state in the union to take a statewide vote on Obamacare and the state of Missouri on August 3rd is going to vote in favor of the Missouri Health Care Freedom Act. And what the Missouri Health Care Freedom Act does, in essence, is it says, no, Mr. Obama, no, Nancy Pelosi, no, Harry Reid. The state of Missouri says no to you, federal government. You do not have the authority. You do not have the power. You do not have the right to mandate insurance purchases One on us. One thing is evident. The default setting for human government is monarchy. Let me say that again. The default setting for human government is monarchy. Out of these 6,000 years of recorded human history, power, like gravity, concentrates into the hands of one person. Now, we see the uniqueness of America. America, because of our 3,000 mile ocean between us and our monarch, the King of England, we had this unique window in time to experiment with alternatives to monarchy. And we came up with a form of government where the people are the king and the politicians are the servants. They're public servants. You hire them and you fire them. Our founders took the power of a king and separated it into three branches, executive, legislative, and judicial. Then they took the power of a king and separated it federal to state level. And then they tied this new federal Frankenstein up with 10 handcuffs we call the first 10 amendments before they threw the switch. They wanted to go to great lengths to make sure that power was not concentrated into the hands of one individual. We're speaking out because our nation is under attack. We are under assault. The radicals are trying to change this nation into some kind of quasi-socialist state. The talking heads in the media, they like to point at Europe. They say these radicals in Washington are trying to make America like Europe. I'm sure you've all heard that. But when these radicals, when these radicals send their goons like they did in South County to beat Ken Gladney, when these radicals, when they send their goons to smash women in the face with cameras like they did in South County in St. Louis, when these goons are sending radical union organizers to rallies to jack Tea Party protesters in the face, this is not what happens in Europe today. This is not Europe. This is like the Marxist Chavista thugs in Venezuela. There's a Tea Party revolution, folks. But let there be no doubt we didn't start this revolution. Our revolution is a counter to the radical, violent, controlling, elitist, socialist revolution that they started. 
in January 2009. We didn't start this revolution. This will not see nothing yet. We won't be done. We won't be done until we chase the last radical and progressive and thug from Washington, D.C. Give it up. Okay. Everybody, you're still here. That's so great. You guys are hardcore for sticking around to the end. And speaking of hardcore, we have about the most hardcore chick on the radio here ready to speak to you. And I'm honored to be an occasional guest contributor on The Dana Show. And, uh, well, here she is, Dana Lash. Warren County. First of all, with Joe, you are amazing. I, I remarked to him, you all have a concession stand here, and you have actual four real bathrooms right back there. This is, for everything that we have been doing this past year, that's fancy to me. So hats off to you guys. God bless you all. God bless our veterans for being here. Where are my conservative ladies at? This is your year. This is your year, ladies. And I'm not sliding them in when I say this because I know our conservative men there. So I do hope everyone gets involved in a block captain program because the left is trying so very hard to mobilize. Nobody cares anymore. They're not going to have the turnout that they had last time. Mark my word, they're not going to have the turnout that they had last time. You know what the most dangerous thing to socialism is? An informed electorate. And that's what's happening. It's just not working anymore. It's not working for him anymore. We have, we have the, uh, the FCC wanting to categorize people like me as hate speech, saying that, oh, well, you, people like you, Dana Lash, and people like Mark Levin and Glenn Beck and all these other people, you guys need to have on a liberal point of view. I've told liberals they can call in, but they always hang up as soon as I let them through. Not my fault they're chicken. Something. This is what it's going to take. We have to become foot soldiers for liberty. Our men and women have given a lot in uniform. And I think I, as an American woman, I, as an American, cannot stand by and let a lot of other people sacrifice and me not do anything. I can't do it and consider myself a consistent conservative. We need everybody. We need everybody getting out there. We need everybody. We need boots on the ground. You've heard that phrase. We got to make it happen. We need to be going door to door. We need to be getting involved with the block captain program. Whatever it takes. This is for your children. This is for your grandchildren. I look at my children and I say, I'm willing to go whole hog for you. And I know you all are saying the same thing too. Are you going to join with me? Can we do this? We can. We can take back Congress. This is our country. We have not sent men and women overseas to fight for socialist policies. I am not going to let this Constitution be shredded. And as God is my witness, it's going to happen. I'm not going down without a...